All right, guys. Well, after much prep, and I mean a lot of prep, I have finally got this uh, engine compartment scuffed, degreased, and it's ready to paint. It's as ready as it's going to get. So, a lot of work. I got a lot of hours in this. So, I removed the uh, bumper core so I could stand up closer to the car to lean in. And um, hopefully, she's going to come out good. We got good weather conditions. We're about, uh, let's see, looks like we're about 65% uh, humidity. And about, uh, well, heck, I'll just take you over here and show you. About 65% humidity, about 74 degrees. So, it's as good as it gets for, uh, for around here. Uh, that's pretty much perfect for me, paint-wise. So, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to seal it first. Um, we got a lot of different colors going for us and that will make it uniform and that, that means one less coat of paint and uh, I don't want to uh, I don't want to spend a lot of paint because we haven't got the car painted yet and I want to make sure that I'm going to have enough paint to do that so if I can save a coat that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and shoot some sealer on it it won't hurt it a bit uh, it can do nothing but help it and uh, yeah Let's just get her done. got disaster written on it, so if I bumped a spot once, I bumped it a half a dozen times painting that sealer on there, so we're going to have to have some a different approach here, or concentrate anyway on what I'm doing a little bit more, but uh, man, it's just a tight spot. I can't get enough bend in my hose to... Uh, you know, maneuver the gun, so. Yeah. Well, we'll let that flash off here in another 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, I got my gun all ready, and we'll load her up with some collar and see what kind of damage we can get done. All right, so here we go. I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back my fluid quite a bit so my gun movement doesn't have to be so fast. And I might narrow the fan just a hair. I don't know, we'll just have to see, but... Uh, I'm either going to be a hero or a zero here.
gonna lie to you, this is a little tougher than I thought it would be. You know how many runs yet, and uh, I think I got it under control, but you really gotta pay attention to what you're doing. This is such a small spot to paint in, so. We'll uh, throw another coat at it and see what she looks like. I think we're gonna probably end up with two coats, maybe like two and a half, maybe three. Um, but, uh, it's going to look pretty good after two coats, so we'll see what we got. Alright, I'm going to put one more coat on it. I don't think it'll be a full coat, not like I've done on the other, so I won't be paying attention to nooks and crannies and things like that. So. So far we don't have any runs, so I guess I'm lucky. Alright guys, the only thing we got left now is clear. So we got three coats of space on here. It looks really good, there's no runs at all that I can see. And uh, hopefully I get this clear on here to look pretty decent. So I gotta remember, I think, this is what I'm thinking. I just need to remember not to try to get it into nooks and crannies. You know, you're not gonna see the nooks and crannies, so you know what I need to do is concentrate on this, you know, trying not to hold the gun too still and try to point in a certain area. So I'm going to use my Segola. I'm going to treat it different than I probably ever have. I'm not going to, normally I run my Segola flat out, full trigger, about 30 pounds, maybe, maybe between 28 and 30 pounds of air. Um, so I'm going to cut the fluid back on it a little bit and um, we'll just see what happens. I just can't move that fast when I'm down in there because I'm just too worried about bumping things and you know my hose dragging across stuff. So the first coat isn't going to be so bad. It's the second coat going to be bad because you know I can't touch it anywhere or it, you'll see it. So anyway, it's coming out pretty good, and if we can just. Uh, if I could just uh, hold par here, um, I'm going to be real happy with it. So. Here we go. guys I think it came out great I couldn't be happier I think it looks as good 
as I could possibly get it. So I got two coats of clear on it. I haven't seen her run yet. I used MC-161 clear. I got some MS-78 to use from Darren and Air Andrea, but I wanted to go with something I had confidence with and I've never used that before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. feeling like a million bucks I can't believe how good it come out especially after I started painting and I thought I was gonna have a lot of trouble actually guys the Sacola the Sagola with its small cup which I've always hated um, actually really really made the difference um, I was able to to get it in places without bumping that the uh, one quart cup on my uh, finish line uh, just wouldn't allow me to get into so uh, that's one time the Segola cup has been my friend I'm really, really happy with this. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, I've already been in the shower. And uh, I'm cleaned up and ready to call it quit, so. You guys take it easy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.